Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got a great video for you. We're gonna be processing our giant Kushaw squash, but we've also had a bit of a screw up, so hang on a second, I'll tell you what's going on. Okay guys, if you think you're seeing this video for the second time, you probably are. And if you are, then we have to apologize to you. We went through the entire making of this Kushal butter and we ended it with water bath canning it. And that's just something that Tina and I weren't comfortable with. Um, squash is a high, or a high alkalinity or low acid food. And uh, we're just not comfortable leaving it with water bath canning. So we went back and corrected the problem. We, we put it all back in the pot, heated it back up, and we're running it through the pressure canner, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like. But uh, the, the Food and Drug does not recommend canning squash at all. So what we're gonna do is just tell you we're not gonna give you instructions. We'll show you what we did, and uh, we'll take you through the process, and we'll even show you pressure canning it. But uh, we don't recommend you doing it. It's just what we did. So. If you want to follow along, the first part of the video is what you may have already seen. And when we get to the canning, you're going to see pressure canning rather than the water bath canning of the original posting. So we're going to go back and correct it. We just don't, we don't feel right putting it out there with a water bath canning, a low acid food. So we're going to go back and we're going to pressure can it and uh, we'll just show you what we did that way and I'll show you the results. So let's get to the footage and if you've already seen the first part of processing it, then just skip to the canning part. It's up there a little ways, but uh, just skip ahead to the canning part and we'll show you how we canned it. But uh, let's get to the footage and uh, I'll be back to talk to you then. All right guys, we're getting ready to start breaking down this giant Kushaw squash. If you haven't seen our harvest video, I'll put a link to it up above, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and break it down we've got to get the skin off of it give you an idea how big it was it uh we weighed it at 20 and a half pounds and that's a 24 inch cutting board it's sitting on so that's a big old squash but uh we're uh it's going to be hard to cut and it's probably not going to be something you want to see on film so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get it broke down and we'll bring you back when we start cubing it up and we'll show you what we're going to do with it all right guys we got this thing broke open Want to show you they, uh, they look really similar to a pumpkin on the inside but just those pieces of neck there probably weigh three pounds each so we're going to go ahead and get this scooped out and then we're going to start knocking the skin off of it all right guys we've got these things broke down now and i'm going to tell you i lied to you those necks got to weigh five pounds each but we're going to go ahead and finish getting these what we need to do now is, is cut them down to cubes, the smallest cubes we can get them to. And then uh, we're going to put them in a big old pot and we'll start the cooking down process. But we'll show you how we do that when we get to it. All right, guys, we're still just getting this thing broke down. We're starting to put it in our water bath canner. And that canner is about halfway full now. And we still have all of those big chunks you have to put in it. So we're going to keep breaking it down and uh, we'll bring you back when we get it on the stove okay guys we filled this canner all the way to the upper line with a diced kushaw and i'm gonna have to tell you now that we're not going to be able to give you a recipe or break down a recipe for it we'll tell you what we're doing as we go along we're going to follow the basics of mr james recipe down there at the home in the our uh, old school with a modern twist and uh, he used equal amounts of white sugar and brown sugar and uh, we're going to have to just decide about how much to use. But the first thing is, is we're going to get some water in here. We're going to get it boiling and we're going to get it started breaking down. So we'll bring you back when we're a little further along in the process. All right, guys, we're just starting to get this squash cooked down. It's uh, softening up, but uh, we had to add quite a bit of water to it in order to be able to stir it. So. Uh, we're going to be cooking this down for quite a while. If you're familiar with water bath canners, it was full up to the second ring and uh, we've managed to uh, cook off about an inch of it, but we got a long ways to go. So we'll bring you back when we get closer or we start adding things to it. Check it out. 
All right, guys, we're uh, got the Kushaw squash reduced down to about half. It's uh, the consistency of a really, really thick applesauce, but we're getting ready to doctor it up. And uh, Mr. James over there at uh, Old School with a Modern Twist said we ought to use equal amounts of light sugar, light brown sugar, and regular sugar. So we're going to go with... Uh, just judging we're just guessing here guys so we're just judging by the amount we have we're just going to go with four cups of brown sugar and four cups of regular sugar but i'll tell you the recipe for what we're going to add to it we're going to add three tablespoons of cinnamon two tablespoons of ground ginger two tablespoons of nutmeg one and a half tablespoons of ground allspice and one and a half tablespoons of ground cloves. Now, if you write that down, I'll call through it again, but uh, if you write that down, that's also the recipe that you use to make pumpkin pie spice. If you wanna make your own pumpkin pie spice, these are the right ratios. Three tablespoons of cinnamon, two teaspoons of ginger, two teaspoons of nutmeg, one and a half teaspoons of ground allspice, and one and a half teaspoons of cloves. So we're going to get that all mixed up in the pot, and we'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, we did have this big pot reduced down by about half, but after adding cups and cups of sugar and the spices, it has uh, filled it almost back up. We're about an inch, inch and a half short of the second ring there. So we're going to have to boil this on back down, and uh, that's going to take us quite a while. So wanted to give you a look at it. We did... Uh, we did end up for this size, we're in a water bath canner here. Um, for this size pot, we did double the spices I just told you. So you'll have to, uh, you'll have to do that math for yourself or I'll try to put a, put a list of the ingredients down in the description of the video. But mm. getting you a smell? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, we're gonna finish boiling this on down then we'll bring you back and we'll get it canned up. All right, guys, we're getting real close here. You can see we can uh, we can stand it up on top of itself and it still holds its form. So that's getting plenty thick enough for uh, butter, especially if it's hot. It'll thicken up as it cools. But uh, if it'll do that when it's hot, that's when it's about done. So we're going to get the can in this here pretty quick and I'll bring you back for that. All right, guys, we're going to cut back in with the new footage I told you about in the intro. But we've got it back out of the jars that it was originally in. And uh, we are got, got it back in the pan. We had quite a bit of loss to the inside of the jars. But we need to make sure this is done right. We need to make sure that we're telling you guys right. So we've got it back in the pan heating back up. we got our jars ready over there. we got our pressure canner set up. And we are not going to give you instructions on how to can it. We're just going to tell you what we did. But these are not instructions on how to can it because... The food and drug says uh, not to can squash, so this is just going to be what we're doing and not telling you what you ought to do. So we're going we're gonna to get it canned up. We're going to run it through the canner for about an hour. I'll come back and tell you a little bit more about that. But uh, we're going to run it through for about an hour at the right pressure for our altitude. And then I'll show you what we do from there. All right, guys. We got everything put into the pressure canner. We had a lot, a lot of waste. Um, just washing out it's so thick it stuck to the inside of the jars and stuff so every jar we emptied it it we lost a bunch so we went from uh, 12 pints and 21 half pints to let's see 17 pints and one half pint so you can do the math and figure out how much we lost but we're not real thrilled but we got to do it safe so we're gonna do it best we can so we're gonna get this rolling and uh, we'll get it up to temperature we're going to leave it for an hour or so. I'm not going to give you directions. We're just going to leave it for an hour or so. And when we pull them out, I'll bring you back. Okay, guys. It's getting pretty late here. So we just got these out of the canner. And uh, they've been in the pressure canner for over an hour. We let them cool down in the canner for quite a while. And we pulled them out here and thought we'd give you a good look at them. But that's the Kushaw squash butter. It's got a real rich dark brown color like a apple butter i'm sorry the lighting's not real great in here at night but uh if i can get in here and get you a picture of some of it but that's going to be it we're going to let them cool down 
we'll get the rings off of them get them washed up get them labeled and we're gonna call that a done job okay guys that's about gonna wrap it up for the video um, we really appreciate you guys coming by and checking out how we put our kushaw butter together it's a great recipe it tastes really good I apologize for any confusion with the with the water bath canning versus the pressure canning but we wanted to go on and make sure it was pressure canned in case anybody tried the recipe we didn't want anybody to end up in trouble we don't recommend that you do it um, we're just showing you what we did but if you like the video we hope you'll give it a thumbs up please leave us a comment down below and if you like the content here on the channel we hope you'll subscribe there's a bell down there next to the subscribe button if you hit that bell that'll send you notifications whenever we release new videos that's a great way to keep up with the channel but uh, we appreciate you guys coming by the channel we hope that we can keep your confidence we don't ever want to put anything out there that we don't feel safe about but uh, and we want to say thanks to mr james he uh he sent us the seeds and uh he uh you know he made uh, he's made some kushaw butter over on his channel if you want you guys can go check that out but uh we're gonna have to do it the way that we feel comfortable doing it and uh, we're just gonna leave it at that so we hope you enjoyed the video. It's it's good stuff, but uh, we'll catch you in the next one.